Hello everyone. Hope you are all doing great. In this session, we will focus on standard echo windows. What are standard echo windows? Standard locations on the anterior chest wall. They are used to place the transducer, which are called as echo windows. Let us see more about them in detail. What is transthoracic echo? Conventional echocardiography. It is performed from the anterior chest wall. We call it as precordium. So that is called as transthoracic echo. What is transesophageal echo? Echocardiography can also be performed from the esophagus. That is called transesophageal echo. They are of five types: left parasternal, apical, subcostal, right parasternal, and suprasternal. Standard windows. They are used for two important reasons. First one is the penetration of ultrasound waves from the windows. It is very good without much masking of image or absorption of ultrasound by the ribs or lungs. The second one is standard echo images. They can be compared with studies which are performed by different observers or on different occasions by the same observer. Transducer echo may be technically difficult to perform in the following situations. That is, severe morbid obesity, chest wall deformity, and pulmonary emphysema. Coming to the parasternal long axis view. This is the right ventricle, left ventricle, aorta, aortic valves, left atrium, and the mitral valve. Coming to the transducer position. Left sternal edge, that is second to fourth intercostal space. Marker dot position, it points towards the right shoulder. What are the structures seen here? Proximal aorta, aortic valve, left atrium, mitral valve, left ventricle, interventricular septum, posterior wall, right ventricle, pericardium. Right atrium is not seen in this. Now coming to the parasternal short axis levels, they are five: pulmonary artery, aortic valve, mitral valve, papillary muscle, and left ventricle. Let us see about each of them. So for all these levels, the left sternal edge and the second to fourth intercostal space would be the transducer position. Marker dot it points towards the left shoulder. That is 90 degree clockwise from the parasternal long axis view. By tilting the transducer on an axis between the left hip and right shoulder, short axis cuts are obtained at different levels from the aorta to the left ventricular apex. This angulation of transducer from the base to apex of heart for short axis views it is known as bread loafing. By this loafing only we get all these five views that is the pulmonary artery level aortic valve level mitral valve level papillary muscle and the left ventricle coming to the first one that is pulmonary artery level right ventricular outflow tract aortic valves that is the three cusp non coronary left coronary and the right coronary cusp pulmonary valve and the pulmonary artery pulmonary artery pulmonary valve and right ventricular outflow tract coming to the aortic valve level what we can see tricuspid valve mainly the left atrium aortic valve and their cusp right ventricular outflow tract pulmonary artery just take a look at the structure seen going to the mitral valve level interventricular septum anterior mitral leaflet and posterior mitral leaflet here the mitral valve orifice will be seen as a fish mouth you can see the structure if the fish is opening its mouth how it will be same like that you can assume like that structures coming to the papillary muscle level that is the posterior medial left ventricle and the anterolateral structures 
seen. Interventricular septum can be seen here. And for apical views, the subject turns back rightwards from the left lateral position and he lies more supine. Coming to the apical four chamber view. Here we can see the right ventricle, tricuspid valve, right atrium, left ventricle, mitral valve and left atrium. Transducer position, it is the apex of the heart and the marker dot position, it points towards the left shoulder. What are the structures seen? Just take a look at that. Coming to the apical five chamber view. This view is obtained after apical four chamber view that is by slightly tilting the transducer downward. The fifth chamber is the left ventricular outflow tract. Coming to the transducer position, it is the apex of the heart, marker dot position, it points towards the left shoulder. What are the structures seen? The same as in apical four chamber view. In addition, we can see the left ventricular outflow tract. Here comes the aortic valve and the pro proximal aorta. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for our latest updates.